Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercress, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play. This time around, it is Enduro Racer for the Sega Master System. After seeing this on Lucas Macintosh, the Retro Macintosh's Sega Master System exclusive channel, I decided to try this game, and after an hour of play, I managed to beat the entire game. So here we are at the first stage. Controls are pretty simple. One is the brake, two is the gas. Left and right lets you move left and right. And by tapping down on the control pad, we can pop a wheelie. Why do you want to pop a wheelie? Well, when you hit a ramp, you lose a lot of speed when you hit the ground. But, if you pop a wheelie just you're about to hit a ramp, if you've done it right, if you've timed it just right, you can get a boost of speed, and you won't lose any speed at all when you hit the ground. We'll be passing by these cars. They're slow. You'll, you'll usually only see one on the screen at any given time. But the more cars we pass, the more points we get on the tune-up screen. We pass eight cars, we get eight points. Tune-up screen lets us upgrade our bike and make it better. And there we are at the finish line. At the end of every stage, you get to see how fast you completed it, as well as how many vehicles you passed. Again, we passed 8 cars, so we get 8 points for the tune-up screen. Although, I will go into more detail with the tune-up screen in the second video. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and talk about stage 2. We're in the desert, and we'll be dealing with the bikes. You usually see one or two bikes on the screen at any given time. They're smaller but they're also a lot faster too. You'll also see more ramps in this stage. And with a lot of practice, you'll be able to hit one ramp after another, hitting a wheelie before each one and not losing any speed. This will definitely come in handy for the next stage where there are just as many ramps. Also, there are some ramps in the second stage that you can't drive around at all. You will have to hit a wheelie on them in order to maintain your speed. Sometimes vehicles will crash, whether they be car or bike. If that happens, oh well, just speed past them. I finished this stage with 29 seconds left. You start every stage with 60, and because I finished stage 2 with 29 seconds left, those 29 seconds will be tacked on to the 60 seconds I start stage 3 with. So I have 89 seconds on the clock. 60 that I start out with, plus the 29 that I ended stage 2 with. The timer is on the upper left, if you couldn't tell. And on the lower right is the amount of damage you've taken and your current speed. Now you're going to be dealing with the cars again on stage 3, and you'll also have a lot of ramps too. You definitely want to stay on the brown ground because that grassy green stuff is really swamp-ish water, and you lose your speed a little bit if, the more you stay on it. As long as you're able to pop wheelies on all these ramps, as many ramps as you can hit, you'll have no problem getting through this stage with time to spare. Just don't run into the bushes or the cactuses. If you run into smaller obstacles such as rocks, cactus, these large grasses or anything, you'll take 4 damage. And if you crash into a car or a vehicle or anything on the side of the road that's like pretty big, you'll take 10 damage. If you reach 99 damage, the timer on the upper left corner of the screen will go down twice as fast and it will be a lot easier for you to fail. And if the timer hits zero, your game is over. You're going to have to start from the very beginning. Now we're in the real swamp land. You want to stay on that light green ground whenever possible. And you also don't want to crash like I did. Because that's that dark sea green colored ground there, you will lose your speed on it. Also, you will have to master the wheelie by this point, because that series of jumps I did over the water, which we are going to see again right here. If you can't do those wheelies and maintain your speed, 
There's no way in the world you're probably going to get past the stage. Well, and there'd probably be a chance you'll barely be able to do it. So you better practice those wheelies if you want to get through here. And yeah, if you couldn't already tell, you lose a lot of speed on that dark green ground. Also, if you land the water, you will be unable to move for a couple of seconds. You don't want to run into the water too much or else you're not going to make it. And now it's time for stage five, which takes place on the mountain. This is obviously the hardest of the five stages because the track gets pretty narrow at times. And it is easy to have tunnel vision around here. You'll also be dealing with the bikes too, and it is easy to run into them in this stage too. Definitely wanna make sure not to run the rocks or craters because that will cause you to take damage. And you better be ready to hit as many ramps as possible and make sure your bike is able to hit the ground. Because the bike, not the bike, but the roads sometimes get very narrow and take up only the left side of the screen, like right here. And you definitely wanna be able to make it through there or else you're gonna lose some time. Because crashing costs precious seconds. So watch the road. Don't run in the rocks. Don't run in the craters. Definitely don't run in the ro other bikers. At least he crashed too, so that serves him right for being in the way. And just try to take as little damage as possible through the game. And that is it for the first five stages. Next time, we go through the first five stages again for 6 through 10, and I talk about the tune-up menu. Until then, this is Prince Watercrest. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!